What's up, Rivalers? Guys, we have got a brand new character drop. Another one, two in one day, with Thor uh, dropping alongside Jeff the Landshark. And these two characters are the complete opposite. Jeff the Landshark was very cutesy, very, you know, basic and simple. Thor, first of all, can we just appreciate how freaking jacked this guy is? He is so yoked, would not want to mess with this guy. So I'm going to give you guys a brief rundown on his kit before we jump into game with him. Uh, you can pause the video if you want to read everything there, but just going to give you a brief rundown. Left click is a very basic melee attack. Uh, right click is going to be basically a ranged version of that where he throws his hammer. And then if you see in the center of the screen right next to Thor, we've got a resource counter with the little hammers, and that is going to be his resource called Thor Force. Now, some interesting things about that is that the right click uses one Thor Force. His uh, other abilities use, uh, you know, differing amounts. Here we've got the iconic Thor ability where he swings his hammer and then swings and flies with it. Look at that. Boom. And if we actually hit someone with it, it is going to be giving us a knockback. So some really cool disruption tools. And then E, the more enemies that your E uh, hits, it's going to restore more points of that Thor Force. So if you're running low on Thor Force, like let's say you've used up all your hammer tosses here, we can just press E and that's going to hit two enemies and that's going to give us two Thor Force points left, uh, back. So really, really cool stuff. We got the knockback. Uh, also, in addition to that, the more you hit people with abilities, you're going to be getting that bonus health, very similar to how Venom kind of stays in combat with that shield. Extra health that turns into a shield. Really, really cool stuff. So basically, you're going to fly in, hit him a couple times, maybe throw. And then we've also got your left ship, which is going to give you an empowered version, basically an ultimate version of Thor, which turns his left click into this ranged zap ability. Very, very cool. And then, of course, his actual ultimate, he flies up, smashes back down, and then that's going to be essentially a one hit KO for most low HP targets. So absolutely insane damage versatility cc and survivability coming out of this guy um, i'm really really excited to play with them so let's not waste another second of your time and let's get right into the game all right here we go boys let's get some thor gameplay for you so one thing i want to point out is that he's actually got two team ups uh with hella and then with storm so Thor can infuse Storm and basically empower her abilities. And then if Hela is on your team, she can actually sometimes give you a revive. So here we go, guys. We're just going to be diving into him. And I think the gist of this character is that you want to essentially use the fact that your, your F ability has essentially like a one or two second cooldown. And as long as I'm landing that, I'm going to be getting shields. In fact, it doesn't even look like I need to land it on anyone. If you, if you look down at my health bar, it's going to be giving me that like bonus health slash shield that it gives to Venom. And you could just spam that to get yourself up to 800 HP. So we're going to be diving into the middle of them. And then using our E when we're around a lot of them to uh, give us back those Thor Force points. <laughs> Thor Force, that's such a crazy uh, currency name. But here we go. We're just going to kind of play with our team here till we get a good opening. Just kind of cheese him with the, the the hammer throw. And now, once I see a good opening, I'm just going to run in. And again, we are spamming that dash on cooldown and just disrupting them. That's such good CC on a very, very low cooldown. Look at this. I'm basically feeling invincible. Yeah, that's going to be the play there. Knock down this low key. Goodbye, Magneto. Yeah, that, that cooldown is um absolutely not balanced, by the way. <laughs> it does damage. It gives me a shield, and it's it's also like a gap closer. So you're not going to quite have, like, backline access as good as someone like Venom. But, man, like, once you're in the middle of them, you are just going to be smashing some skulls. It's pretty crazy. Boom, boom, boom. And then if you're really, like, kind of gated by not being able to reach them... You can use all three of your Thor Force points to activate that that empowered mode, where I think it's called Awakened Rune, and then just throw some throw some DPS into them. So if for some reason you weren't wanting to dive into them, which I think with this character you pretty much always will be, uh, you you can do that. I I think the trade off there is a little too hefty using all three of your Thor Force points, but man, look at this! I am just knocking skulls together. This is insane. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is crazy. Boom, that knocked him out of his shield too? Guys, Jeff the Landshark was, he was fun, but this is 
absolutely OP from what I'm seeing. Dash over here. The fact that that is just such an insanely small cooldown is crazy. Got a little bit of a lull in the combat, so I don't feel too bad about using all three of my Thor Force points. Let's see if we can get some lightning hits over there. This is definitely someone that you're going to... Like, Thor feels really great with the survivability, but it's definitely one of those characters that he's, he's like a bruiser more than a tank. His offensive capabilities are greatly going to outweigh his defensive capabilities, so... You know, it's probably someone that you're going to want to pair up with someone like a more sta- What just happened to me? Wait, wait, what just happened to me? <laughs> I just got one shot. Um, but yeah, you're probably going to want to pair this guy up with a more like traditional standard tank. Someone like uh, Doctor Strange would be really good with him, I think. So Doctor Strange can kind of focus more on keeping your team alive while you can uh, really go clobber some, some heads. Man, that bonus health is just insane. Boom. Boom. I can just... Once I've got, like, a target, they just do not get to play the game. I, th I think that's what Thor's all about. I get to choose, like, one person, and they just don't get to play. It's not going to be one-shotting enemy tanks, but it is going to be doing really, really good one-shot potential against squishies. Oh, my gosh. This guy just doesn't get to play. <laughs> that is so much fun. Then once again, we're kind of in a lull in the combat. So I'm just going to go empowered here. It does disable your right click, but it essentially turns your left click into your right click. So I don't feel too bad about that. Oh yeah? You want this, bro? You want this? Are you sure? Look at this. I'm just on top of him. I'm diving him. Hit my E. You walled me off from my team. The Groot wall is very, very good at like breaking line of sight between you and your healers. You just got to be watching out for that. I got stunned, but got quite a bit of bonus health, so I should be fine. <laughs> I almost feel bad. <laughs> feel bad for this Groot. And now I feel bad for this Luna Snow. That's so crazy. <laughs> Guys, let me know down in the comments if you think this champion is balanced. I'm, I'm starting to think this is a pretty, pretty strong hero. And once they're like contesting on the point, you can just come down like that. Get a huge three-man ulti. Yeah, they're, they're definitely going to have to like balance the cooldown on my, my dash ability. That is so spammable. Then once you're in the middle of them, you're of course going to use your E. Wow, that is unbelievable. Th that is definitely... I I'm, I'm going to put this guy in S tier. If I had to rate him on my tier list right now, based off that one game that I've had with him, that was that is absolutely an S tier character. Look at this. The most damage in the game, out damaging... I, I did more damage than both of my DPS put together. In addition to, you know, all the damage blocked. That Wow. That was insane. We're going to run it back, guys. That was so much fun. I, I really came into this not knowing if I would actually enjoy playing Thor. But wow. That that is insane. You'll need a team to win this one. Grab him again. Again, so we, so we can see the, um, the team ups with Hela and Storm there. Yeah, this is definitely a character that as long as you are not breaking line of sight between you and at least one of your healers, this character is insane. Like, this is... Thor, in addition to Venom coming out for the closed beta, has completely transformed, in my opinion, what the meta of the game is. Like, it's all about diving now. Like, these tanks are just so unbelievably broken. Which I really feel like was the complete opposite in the alpha. It felt much more about, like, I don't know, just empowering one DPS and they would 1v9 the game, but... Alright, so we've got a team up with Storm. Do I actually do anything with it? Thor, Thor infuses Thor Force into Storm, granting her an electrifying enhancement. With an electrifying enhancement, Storm can unleash a lightning barrage. Okay. Storm, you have a team up. Oh, look, at, look how cute my boy Jeff is. All right, let's do it again, guys. 
<laughs> that was so much fun, man. All right. This is kind of like the dead zone where I can't feel like once we pass this corner, then I can go in, but I don't want to dive in too deep. We actually just lost our Iron Man, so I really don't want to dive in too deep now. Boom, boom, boom. Where you going, bro? Uh-oh. Now I'm the cowardly Thor. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm in there. I'm in there. Okay, I found the Adam Warlock. Once you find the healer, it's just over. I'm, I'm going to take out the uh, the Jeff as well. I'm <laughs> just hitting him with the hammer. <laughs> this is so funny. Wow. Let's head out a little before. Once again, don't really need my Thor Force points. So I feel good to empower myself here. Oh. That's really the only answer you have to something like a flyer. I'll patch you up. Where you going, Spidey? Now, you're not going to be able to match the mobility of someone like Spider-Man or Black Panther, but... If, if you can just catch them once with your F, again, it's a one-second cooldown. <laughs> just absolutely insane. Yeah, I, I think this ability would be balanced if they added like four seconds to it. That's that's how overpowered this is. Hit my E, boom, boom, boom. Went a little too deep here. Once again, just need to make sure I've got line of sight between me and one healer. If I have one healer pocketing me, I'm I'm gonna be okay. I have so much survivability on my own. Charge this up, and we are in there. I'm gonna go ahead and I think I missed that. All right, all right. I think I need to switch targets here. I think we need to go for the Jeff. Once I'm on the Jeff, it's just over for him, man. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was weird. Wait, do we knock into each other if we both dash? Kind of like Reinhardt does. That'd be kind of funny. Yeah, I mean, you can charge it up, but it honestly just feels like more efficient to just tap it. Oh, went a little too deep there. Once again, just got to stay near one of my healers and I should be fine. Oh. I mean, Thor's a character that's really easy to nail, but I feel like they nailed him. Like, just that one voice line I just heard, like, What battle can continue without Thor? Like, that's just, that's so Thor. He's just straight up a, a warrior viking. It's it's that simple. It's a simple guy. Alright, this is like, Thor is probably like the one person that I can't actually do this strategy to, so... So it also disables your dash when you go empowered. So like, honestly, the empowerment just feels like something that you start a fight with. Like you just do it when you have, when you don't have access to like any of your other abilities. We're gonna, we're gonna do a little emote here. All right, our Iron Man just went down. We've got five minutes to take this one. I'm not, I'm not too worried about this. Like I don't wanna dash it or I don't wanna go in there and die. We'll, we'll, we'll just wait for we'll just wait for our, our DPS to come back. Uh oh uh oh uh oh. Dash out. Now this is pretty fun. It feels kind of weird that Thor can't fly, but this is kind of how he flies anyways. You know what I mean? Yum. Okay, I think Groot just missed his, his ulti there. Don't let him do anything. You want to kind of like focus someone and, t and like can like spam dash on them and push them away from their team. I think that's kind of like the play here. Like you see, I've got, I, 
I've got Jeff, and I'm trying to just like not let him connect with this team again. All right, we're gonna ult this though. I have another whiff on the ulti. Oh, the <laughs> I'm chasing him. <laughs> you can smash down with the dash out of midair too. This is wow. All right, once again, kind of, kind of at a little bit of a lull, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the empowered. If I can throw some lightning at him, it's pretty cool. It's like a little miniature ultimate. Oh, big, big Iron Man, big Iron Man ulti. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Don't want to break vision. Don't want to break vision. See how fast I die when I break vision of my healers. And almost, I was just never really able to recover from that overcommit. We're 10 and 2 though. Look at that, 7,000 damage. I don't think I'm going to be out damaging my DPS this time, but like, I'm not supposed to. I'm a tank. Get this vent, get this uh, venom. Boom, boom, boom. Hit him with my power grows. Just spam dash. Gonna dash out here. Yeah, it's really nice that you actually don't even need to land the dash on anyone to get the shield. So you can use it as an escape, like as you're running away. It gives you that bonus health. Push this guy away from his team. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Thor gap. Oh, let me pick up these bubbles. Thank you, Jeffy. All right, we need to, we need to go though. Ooh, Adam Warlock said. No, Jeff's got me. Let me go, Jeff. Let me go, Jeff. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, no. <laughs> that is the most broken part about Jeff's ultimate is that he can just jump off the ledge with you in his mouth. Just Venom off my team. Oh, now I'm getting Venom ulted. Oh, this Magneto is way too far away from his team. Oh, we got it. We got him cooked. We got him cooked. Spam the dash. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, hit him with the, hit him with the hammer toss. Just trying to zone here. Hopefully my team's got this. There we go, there we go, there we go. There we go, guys. Two wins in a row with Thor. I ended up enjoying this character so much more than I thought I would. Oh my gosh. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about him. Uh, the Look at that. We did. We out damaged our DPS again. Yeah, they, they are cooking with these tanks, man. Like, they are making the tanks so much more fun to play than I expected them to be. But yeah, that's guys, we're, we're stepping into a Thor meta here, I'm pretty sure, but... Again, let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see me play next, and I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. See you in the next one, Rivalers.